Hey guys, it's me as over here back with another video and today this video is going to be me doing random stuff. I know, I know, I haven't posted a video that has like a legal like title or anything for the while, but what I am doing today is a little thing different. I'm outside, which is why you guys can probably hear all the cars, but I'm trying to block that out with my very loud voice, you know? She gotta do that. <laughs> I bet you guys thought I wasn't gonna gonna wasn't gonna gonna wasn't gonna post because uh I posted that video but you got tricked cuz I just had the jolt in me to post yeah but uh starting off we're just gonna start off with showing you my chickens if I can get them give me a second so this is ho um wait let me put you there's her sister down there but this is Hope. Um, I named her Hope. Ooh, she's trying to get away. No, 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 no! Dang it. <laughs> Anyways, that was Hope, and I call her Hope because, ow, hold me. Anyways, because one day I got home and she had her neck almost all the way cut off. Um, she recovered from that, but ever since she's been like a slower chicken, um, but there's nothing wrong with her. She's perfectly fine. She's just slow. You know what I mean? So you gotta be gentle with her. And I know I look like a piece of crap. Now we have Puffy, who kind of blends in with my shirt. But I call her Puffy because when she roosts, um, she's very fluffy and like, she's a really small chicken, but she's very fluffy and she's very pretty. So yeah, that's Puffy. The only great chicken to survive the sickness the outcast that happened on my chickens I have trained them well <laughs> this is French toast quietly we don't tell the other, other chickens this but uh, she's kind of my favorite but this is French toast she's my most tame chicken I know how to sit I know how to climb up a ladder and slide down the slide um, she sleeps in my lap very beautiful chicken. Her feathers are laid out straight. In the sun, she's golden. Very beautiful. She kind of has some grass on her beak. <laughs> so, uh, when I first got her, she was like darker. And uh, she was the color of French toast. So I just named her French toast because I was hungry when I got her. So, uh, yeah. And she's my, like, very old. And still going strong. She also has a friend. Call him, I call him Duduk. Um, cannot pick him up because he flies and he's too fast. So uh, yeah, that's French toast for you. She's huge as you can, as you can see. Like our, my biggest chicken. Definitely. See, so, and I'd be a good mama. Yes, I would. All right. That's her sister. Stripes. I call her Stripes because... I call her stripes because she had a stripe down her head right there. It was black. And, uh, yeah, she's really pretty, too. Oh, you got a feather missing right there, kid. But, yeah, she's very nice. Trained also. And, yeah. So, since someone wanted to get filmed, we're going to let you guys see my doggos. This is my puppy. She really likes to play. <laughs> Um, this is my har. Had her since I was born. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Very nice, sweet dog. Um, yeah. Some of you guys may be wondering why she has a leg like that. She actually got hurt when she was younger. She got ran over and, uh, yeah. And this is Harley's daughter. Um, this is Ella. Very nice dog. Um, very sweet, always wants to be pet. But yeah, that's Bella and Bella. Crazy. You crazy! So this video is not going to be very long, but that's French Toast talking. She has a very distinct voice. Um, she's coming. Look. Angie. <laughs> I can't zoom in, but that's French Toast for you. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. And it is currently, like, freezing out here. Like, cold. So, I'm gonna go inside and I'll catch you guys in there. My kitty's here to greet us. Man! He's meowing. 
I am currently in my room with Stormy. <laughs> and um, my fingers are freezing. I think that I'm just going to draw. It's relaxing. Um, and it's one way to get up time because I know you guys don't want to watch no five minute videos. So I'm going to draw. I just wanted to say before we start this, um, I got attacked by my cat. Um, so don't be questioning what happened to my hand. Yeah, that's what happened to my hand. Alright, so over this, I really didn't know what to do. I had actually searched up on the internet one a picture idea or drawing idea. And I did a moon with a hammock tied to it over the earth. I added the earth to it and the stars and the shining, but um, the person in the hammock and the moon and the ropes were all there, but uh, I added that in. All right, so as you guys can see, I am finished with my drawing. So what this is, is obviously you have the moon um, and you, there the moon's holding up, here are the ropes moon's holding up a hammock and there's a person reading in it there's the stars singing about making a constellation but i didn't really want to and then down here you have the earth so and then right those things are just the moon shining um once i color this it'll look better most of it's going to be black um but yeah i mean space is black but let me get to adding the stamps in, and then I will be right back. So, sadly, I didn't add any stamps in. Um, they are somewhere in my room, and I need to find them. But this is where I messed up on the coloring of the moon, and I think I knew at that point I messed up. It's definitely not my best drawing I've ever done. Um... You guys have seen my other ones, but if you haven't, you can go check that video out. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product. It's not like I wanted it to turn out. Um, there are definitely a lot of things that I would have changed. Um, like, and that's supposed to be there. Um, like, the color of the moon definitely would have changed that. Um, I would have used colored pencils, but those are for school, and I'm not about to waste those. Um, so, yeah. That's my finished product. Um, the moon's, the color of the moon's kind of getting to me, but I'll have to get over the point because it's just there. And can't change it now. So, I'm going to put it up right there. Uh, let me get... I'm going to put it up right here. My handy dandy thumbtacks. Which I always have with me. Which is a good thing. Because they help you with so many things. Alright, there it is with my art gallery <laughs> i'm just gonna keep on adding on to this but uh yeah let's get on to the second thing all right so the next thing we're gonna be doing is a s m r one of my subscribers my cousin um commented this commented this um in my other like trick kind of video i mean you wouldn't really call it a video but uh yeah so i'm gonna be doing that let me get into my voice and i already have all my things beside me let's get started all right so the first thing we're gonna be doing is this this is one of my brushes that i have and we're going to be using this now i've never done asmr before so this isn't sound horrible and um i think she meant for this to sound horrible 
That's about it. That's about it for that, if y'all could even hear that. Um, my next thing is this little tool to for your eyebrows. Let's get to using this. Alright, that's it for ASMR, if you guys could even hear me and hear that stuff. Well, I know you could definitely hear this. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for that. And this is towards the end of the video, so, yeah. Alright, if you guys have made it to this far into the video and, well, to the end of it, um, that's it for this video. Um, I will see you guys next time. Sorry I haven't uploaded in such a long time, like I said in the other video. Um... I've been lazy, if I'm going to be real honest. Got to be honest with y'all. I've been a little lazy. So, uh, yeah. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below what you guys would like me to do in my next video. Hope you have a good day. That's the end of the video.